12 minutes on the clock, start of the fourth quarter, Coach. Landfair leads at 34-22. They've got the football, and it's going to be first and 10 for them at the Lincoln 28-yard line. Yeah, touchdown here for the Lions is going to make it pretty tough for the Rivers to come back down two scores right now. It would take uh, three touchdowns for the Railers to get back uh, ahead of this game. So a pretty uh, critical defensive series here coming up. Austin Cruz in there now on defense uh, for the rail splitters. Sean Cannon. Brent Metalco. Chris Dong. Thomas going to run it out of the shotgun. Also in there for the Real Railers defensively is uh, number 61, Brandon Crawford. Thomas got the snap. Hands off Mitchell. Mitchell's held up and finally taken down. The man that held him up was uh, number 54 for the Rail Splitters. That's Ethan Kunkel. And then Jacob White was able to grab him around the ankles and take him down. White's a sophomore, 6'2", 230. Bob, the Lions doubled their uh, <coughs> the Railers on offense in that third quarter with uh, 200 and, or, yeah, 208 yards total in the third quarter alone. Mostly a lot of big plays. And most of them, uh, Mr. Dietrich Mitchell. Yeah. He got four on that one. Thomas waits for the snap. Second and six. Hands off Mitchell. Mitchell on the run. And finally taken down. Brent Metalco was the first guy there, able to hang on to his ankles. And then other Raiders came to help out and take him down. He's just pounding the ball right at the Railer defense. And... Uh, I think a couple more plays at that rate, and he's going to make the make the end zone. But the Railers uh, just uh, not able to step in front and drive him backwards. You know, they try to use a lot of arm tackling, and uh, he, along with a lot of the running backs in this conference, won't go down that way. Landfair has advanced to the Lincoln 13-yard line. You're right, Ken. Uh, and now a timeout, Landfair, and we'll take a timeout. Landfair leads at 34-22. Going. Alrighty. We tried to stay with him, Paula. Just uh -huh. we tried to stay with him. We just. Oh no, I stopped 20 minutes ago. I have no clue what's going on. 10 seconds. All right. Five, four, three. Coach Ken Schweitzer and Bobby V back here at. Memorial Stadium in Springfield, the home of the Landfair Lions, and they've got the football. They lead at 34-22. We're early fourth quarter, 10.52 left in the fourth. It's going to be first and 10 for the Lions. They call the timeout at the Lincoln 13-yard line. Yeah, they, uh, I'm not sure what they uh, had some personnel issue there before they snapped the ball, so they took the timeout just to be sure they didn't want to lose the yards on a penalty, and that, uh, yeah, they're knocking at the door now at the Lincoln 13-yard line, and uh, that, uh, maybe that timeout, that little breather will give the Lincoln defense a chance to catch her breath and uh, come across that line of scrimmage like they did in the second quarter. They did a much better job in that second quarter uh, of you know being aggressive on defense. They need uh, some aggression right now. Keegan Buck in there on defense for the Rotors. Coach uh, running players in and out in this heat tonight. Out of the shotgun, Thomas. Out of that timeout. And he uh, keeps the ball, throws it up the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended receiver was uh, number 12 for Landfear. That is Dakota Follis, and he was surrounded by quite a few Lincoln defenders. Yeah, it was kind of a dangerous pass there in, uh, amongst a lot of defenders, and uh, it looked like initially that he was going to be able to break to the outside and beat the defense, but Lincoln came up strong from the outside and uh, forced that pass, and he threw it uh, into some uh, dangerous areas. So it's second and 10 for the men in orange, the Landfear Lions out of that shotgun again. Thomas, this time he gives to Mitchell. Mitchell breaks it out to the left side, and now he's going to run into the end zone for a touchdown from 13 yards out, and that's going to make the score. Landfear 40, Lincoln 22, as Mitchell broke to the outside, and nobody was able to stop him. So he'll attempt the extra point also. Early fourth quarter, 10.40 remains. 40-22 to score. Again, it'll be Downey on the hold for Lanfear. Starkweather, the long snapper, and uh, Dietrich Mitchell 
will tow the football. He'll kick it soccer style. Here's the snap. Ball's down. He boots it, and that ball didn't go anywhere. It was blocked by the rail splitters. It just never did get very airborne, and they were able to block it, so the score's going to remain. Landfear 40, Lincoln 22. We'll be back. Back here at Memorial Stadium, 10.40 left on the game clock. Landfear leads Lincoln 40-22. to 22. They scored the touchdown on a 13-yard Dietrich Mitchell run, but uh, something went wrong on the long snap, and he wasn't able to kick it through. Yeah, they, and they had problems last week on a couple kicks that failed, and uh, a couple times earlier in the game, too, so that's something that... Uh, that, that's an issue for them, but uh, you know, with a 40 to 22 lead, I guess one point there isn't going to make too much difference. Lions are trying to break a 11 game losing streak, Bob, and uh, they're on their way right now, the way things are looking. Craig Thompson kicks it away, and the rail splitters pick it up. That's number 32 for the Railers on the run, and he's doing a good job, and he's finally knocked out of bounds. Number 32 for Lincoln is Keegan Buck for the rail splitters. Keegan Buck uh, is a uh, junior. 5'11", 175 pounder. He did a good job there handling the football for Lincoln. He's got his first and 10 in good field position down to the 42-yard uh, line. Another short kick, uh, kickoff by the Lions, and the Railers uh, get another good field position here at 42, and uh, this is uh, with 10 and a half minutes they need to score on this drive. Penalty flag on the field. Lanfrey might have too many men on the field right now. They call that illegal substitution because there's an orange shirt coming off. And uh, the other's 12. You feel kind of lonely when you have to come off the field like that. And uh, a mistake that we've seen made at the pro level, so uh, it could happen at the high school level. So that'll move the football up to the Lincoln 47-yard um, line. Cook here to the near side wide, Letterly on the right. Sean Cannon on the left wing. And he goes in motion. Cruz got it. Oh, oh, no. Get the ball. Fumble and Lanfear's got it. Cruz didn't see it coming. Nope. He did not see it coming. Whoever hit him just had a wide open ticket. And he hit Austin in the back, knocked him down, knocked the ball loose, and Lanfear picks the football up. Uh, at the Lincoln 36-yard line. Tough break there. Cruz, nothing he could do about it. He didn't see it coming. It was so quick. Well, yeah, and when the defender can beat your quarterback back there because he didn't get touched at the line of scrimmage, uh, I don't know if that's a blitzing linebacker or who that was, but uh, you called exactly right, Bob. He didn't have a, have a prayer there. The defender was on him before he could do anything and, and uh, hit him pretty hard, too, which made him cough the football up. So the Lions ready to attack again. Out of that shotgun, they brought Dickerson in now at... Uh, tailback here's the snap Smith goes in motion and they give it to Dickerson Dickerson on the left side and he's down around the 31 yard line 5 yard pick up there for Dickerson Lanfear now is fully taking control of this game with after that fumble at the end of the third quarter, Bob, they had two uh, two uh, ball carriers, Mitchell and Thomas, both over 100 yards on the ground. Relentless running machine, and now Mitchell's going to check back in for Dickerson. Dickerson's got a little limp in his giddy up as he comes off. And yeah, they're they're an impressive running team. They run the ball well, Bob. They've got some uh, big, strong running backs there, and uh, uh, you know this uh, they, they could wind up with a fairly good season this year. They're going to give some teams some trouble. Yes, sir. Dick, whoa! Good job by the Lincoln defense there. Didn't pick up who that was, the first guy to get there. That was 61 for the rail splitters, Brandon Crawford. He's a senior. He was the first guy there to get a hold of him. He was able to get around the, the offensive line, and then he got a lot of help for the other railers. Yeah, but he stayed with him and hung on to him, and that was, that was important before until he got some help. And... Uh, a yeah, good stop for a loss, actually. Third and six. They keep Mitchell in there with Mario Smith. They flank receivers out on each side, but uh, here comes a little bit of a blitz for Lincoln. Yeah. Thomas throws it up the middle, and nothing going there. Well behind the intended receiver, and that was uh, Dakota Fallis. So now a fourth down situation. 
for Lanfear. And checking in for Lanfear is number 15, Chase Hampson. They're, they're on the railer 32, so I'd be surprised if they punt from there, but... Uh... Some new faces in there for Lincoln. 78 is Matt Barmore, a sophomore, 5'7", 210. Thomas out of the gun. He's got it. He's going to run with it. Round the right side. And he's finally taken down. Good play. Good defense. They strung him out. And he stepped up after he got to the line of scrimmage for the stop. And uh, Lincoln will get the ball on downs. 57, 20, and 54. That's uh, Ethan Kunkel along with Jacob White and Keaton Leatherly on the tackle. Well, now they're going to measure. And I was looking at the stakes. They, they may be close to a first down. Official timeout. Yeah, I didn't think he was close, but now where they spotted it, he could be, it's going to be close. 8.51 left for the football game. Lanfear leads Lincoln 40-22. to 22. You're listening to 96.3 FM. And you're also listening to us online on WLCN.com. And here's the chains. Oh, he's short. Short. Whew. Well, I, I knew that. Yeah, you got great eyes because that was about right. three inches <laughs> away from signal. I was gonna say, try to. I was gonna say something, but I go, nah, it's too close. <laughs> A good, good defensive stop there by the Railers. Uh, be nice to see the the offense move. They, you know, they had a pretty good offensive first half and uh, kind of stalled a little in that third quarter. So hopefully we can come back here and uh, a little stronger in the fourth. John Riddle staying in there. Nato still in there. Sutton's up there for the Railers. Ian Neitzel. Man in motion is White. Cruz rolls out to his right. Got time. Got time. No. Yo. Intercepted. Picked off. Intercepted. Well, try and pick up who that guy is for Landfear. 30. And that is Brett Starkweather. Is that 30 or that 7? That was 7 or 30? 30, well, either way. Yeah, it could have been. It yeah, could have been you know, uh, Cruz just, he had a little time. He's waiting, waiting for a guy to get open. He never really was open. Uh, haven't had as many open receivers here in the second half as he had in that first half. 8.40 left for the game. Lanfear leads it 40-22. They got a first and 10 at the Lincoln 32-yard line. Mitchell still in there along with Mario Smith and Joel Thomas. Thomas got the, Thomas going to keep it again. Here he comes around the right side and he's tripped up. Good job there. Good tackle by uh, Tim... Tim Jackson was on it, and so was uh, uh, Ethan Kunkel in on that tackle. Jackson was just lying in wait for him there. 78 in there for the rail splitters is uh, Matt Barber. 57's Jacob White. 75, Sage Conradi for the rail splitters. Out of the gun, Thomas gives Dietrich Mitchell. Mitchell, big hole left side. Big, big hole left side in for the touchdown. 28-yard touchdown, Dietrich Mitchell. 46-22. Lanfear leads the rail splitters with 7.48 left in the football game. They did a great job of blocking for Mitchell there. He didn't have to break any tackles. No, he was uh, had a big hole there and, uh, on the left side. They opened it up for him, and he ran through it. and. Uh, you're right, Bob, was untouched. Uh, nobody close to him going uh, the last 20-some yards into the end zone. Starkweather on the long snap. Danny Downey will be on the hold. Downey's a backup quarterback, defensive back, and now they're one man short for Lanfear, and Zach Hunter checks in. Dietrich Mitchell ran the touchdown. Now he'll kick the... Uh, extra point through the uprights and that'll make it Lanfear 47 Lincoln 22 with 748 left in the football game we'll be back Paula Kodak uh, back at the station engineering the uh, 
football game tonight, uh, Ken, with numerous cats. Jim Mash has a cat farm out there. I don't know if you I planned on having that or they just showed up. I have heard about the cats, cat or cats. I'm not sure how many they have now, but um, I think they kind of rule the roost at times out there. There's generations of them. There's legends that have passed on in the burial grounds out there. <laughs> Craig Thompson going to kick it away for Lincoln. Who's going to grab it for the rail splitters? One of them's got it. At the 30, that's Brent Metalco to the 35. Metalco along the sideline, down to the 39-yard line goes Brent Metalco. First and 10 for the rail splitters. Their own 39-yard line. Yeah, the one thing uh, the Railers will, won't complain about is field position tonight, Bob. They've uh, had great field position to start almost every drive. And most of that's due to, uh, well, two things. One, short kicks, and uh, the Railers have done a good job running the ball after they've caught it. Eric Sutton wears the number 58 for the Raiders. He's uh, had a great uh, evening. Junior, 226-3. Cook splits here to the near side. Crew that, and the officials blow it dead now. Sakal. Offsides, Len Fear. Five-yard penalty. And that'll bring it up to the 44-yard line. We mentioned that Lanfair had 10 penalties in their opener last uh, week against Springfield. And they had a good first half with only one, but now they're up to seven for the game. So um, still another thing that they need to work on, and, and the coach will be uh, uh, emphasizing this next week. Cruz points something out. In motion goes Wes White. He's got the football to the 45, 50. Here he goes, 45, 40, 35, 30. 25, one man to beat, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, West White from 44-yard line of Lincoln. That is a 56-yard uh, touchdown run for West White with 7.28 left in the football game. Well-designed play, and that'll make the score. Lanfear, 47, Lincoln, 28. We did a nice job getting to the outside and then uh, breaking through... Uh, on the sideline and had one man to beat down there on about the 10 yard line, 15 yard line, Bob, and he kind of slowed down and made a little move to make that uh, secondary man miss him and then took it into the end zone. That was a pretty play, and as you said, Ken, uh, out in the open field, he did a little slow down, juke left, went right, and he was gone. The posse was coming after him, but it was too late. And now Lincoln, uh, it looks as if to go for the two-point conversion. Yeah, I'm sure they will. 47-28, 7.28 left on the clock. Number 54, Kunkel up over the football. Lincoln going with three running backs. Cruz, hands off, outside, looks for running room. No, just short, Brent Metalco. Just short of the goal line. So we'll go into this break with a Landfair lead of 47-28. We'll be back. Bobby V and Coach Schweitzer back here at Memorial Stadium on a beautiful Friday night here. No wind at all. The flag is dead off to our right. Lanfear has just scored. They lead at 53 to 28. There's seven minutes and 11 seconds left in the football game. And let's check to see who's out there on the kickoff team for the rail splitters. I see Seth Gleason along with Matt Barber for the rail splitters. Also in there is Brandon Crawford. Back deep for the Railers, uh, Sean Cannon, along with uh, Tim Jackson. Well, everything holds true to form, Bob. It'll be a short kick, and Lincoln will get around the 40-yard line. Thompson, Cooks, went past Cook. Now Cannon's going to pick it up at the 21. Looks for running room, not much there. Cannon tackled there by number 27 for Lanfear. That's uh, Calvin Caesar, and now Lincoln... Uh, Probably maybe with their worst field position on a kickoff in the game. Well, it, still, it was still a short kick, but it kind of squibbed and got past the uh, Lincoln receivers and then uh, kind of scooted down to the 20, and they didn't have much chance to get a run back. Ball at the 21, first and 10. And now they've brought in uh, Garrett Isles, the quarterback. We're going to give him a few snaps here. Isles, a sophomore for the rail splitters. Sean Cannon stays in there for Lincoln along with Wes White. Cannon goes in motion. Hiles pitches it to him. 
Here comes Cannon around the right side. Spins out of trouble to the 30. Stays on his feet to the 35. Great running job for the first down there by Sean Cannon. Uh, Iles pitched at the outside to him. And uh, the guy that finally brought him down, slow getting up, number three for Lanfear is Devontae Hall. Well, he ran through a couple of tackles too, Bob, uh, with a little burst of speed there to uh, get past the 30 and then uh, out to the 36 for a first down. Sean's so quick, it's hard to get a hold of him. And he, and he's not very big either. You know, he's no. going low to the ground and uh, at 5'6". He's a dynamo. Hiles got the snap. Yeah, and, I don't nope. think so. He didn't get it. I think they fumbled on the snap. I think Lincoln still has it. Kunkel. No, maybe not. Yeah, I think Lincoln's got it. They still got her. So that'll make it second and ten at the 36 of the Lincoln Rail Splitters. They wind the clock again. 6:14 on the move. Lanfear leads at 53-28. Garrett Isles back into the huddle. We hope the Rollers can pick up a few more first downs and move the ball and keep that clock running here because defensively they haven't had much luck stopping the Lions here in this second half. And now, does Lincoln take a timeout? I well, think it's a delay game penalty on the Rollers now. I That's going to cost them five. Yeah, I didn't see the clock. I wasn't looking at the clock in the end zone, but uh, it was the timer out there is one through the flag, so that's what it is. Now checking in for Lanfear, Malik Melton. Miles Kunkel still in there at center. Cook split here to the near side. Cannon the left wing. West White goes in motion. They pitch it to White. White finds a hole, still on his feet across the 40 before he's taken down. Good job there by West White running the football. First guy there for Lanfear uh, was number 30, and that was Brett Starkweather. But White again, strong runner, coming from the right side of that wing formation, and uh, he gets the football out to the Lincoln 41-yard line. And pick up about 10 yards, and as uh, said earlier, White, West has gone across the uh, century mark. He's at 116 yards now on eight, right, on eight carries. He's had a great job tonight. Second and a nickel for the Railers. Had, I'm sorry, Bob. He had three catches for 40 yards, and he's had a great night, yes. Isles brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Oh, fumble again. I think Isles got back on that one. Well, the, the problem is you bring in a new quarterback there, and they haven't worked together that much, you know, near, not near as much as uh, Cruz has with his center, and uh, so you have to have some fumbles, and we've just had a couple here. So now it'll be third and a fever with uh, F ball at the Lincoln 41-yard line. Pardon me, fourth down. And you hate to hate to give away downs like that. You know, that's twice now here in, in this uh, possession that we've had fumbles and, you know, just to cost you a down, you don't get anything out of it. And you got Isles working out there under pressure. Now he comes up under center. Man in motion. Isles rolls out. He's a left-hander and throws it end over end, and nobody was able to get it. A lot of players there. Wes White was the intended receiver. So now they'll switch the chains. He, he had some time there. He rolled to his right, Bob, and uh, got some blocking, had a little time, and then uh, I don't know if he tried to rush it a little bit, uh, but uh, there were some worn shirts around the receiver, so... Uh, it fell incomplete. With 4.21 left in the football game with the Lanfear Lions leading the Lincoln Rail Splitters 53 to 28. 44 in there for the Rail Splitters is uh, Zach Podenite. And Lanfear, I think, has finally brought in some substitutes in the backfield. That's Downey, the guy that usually holds for him on the extra points. Danny. Danny Downey at quarterback out of the shotgun. High snap, he grabs it, hands off. And Lincoln does a good job of bringing the running back down after about a four-yard pickup. That was number 48, Corey Anderson on the run for the Lanfear Lions. I think we've got a flag on the far side, Bob. It's going to be a legal procedure against the Lions. So they'll negate that play and set it back five yards. 
4.10 left on the clock. Lanfear 53, Lincoln 28. Unless maybe the Railers declined the penalty. Yes, they did. 75 in there for the rail splitters. Sage Conradi. 54 is Ethan Kunkel. 35 in there for the Railers. Maupin, and here's the handoff. Downey hands off, and a first down. Number 48, the tackle for Lincoln was made by Ethan Kunkel. And on the run for Lanfear, that was uh, Corey Anderson. Kunkel, I'm sorry, Bob. Kunkel's a 5'9", 225 inside linebacker, only a junior. Also snaps the ball uh, on offense, so he's been out there the whole night. Played a pretty decent game. He has. We thought he was injured, but he wasn't last game. Quarterbacking Danny Downey is a junior for Lanfear. Danny Downey. And they blow it dead. They snapped it. Timeout Lanfear. With 325 left, we'll take a timeout. Lanfear leads at 53-28. Going. So what year were you out at Canyon? Hmm? What year were you out at Canyon? Uh, would have been uh, 2011. 11. Like in October. I was there 72 and 73. Oh yeah. I went down in both those years. Came back down in 70. Back in 75 it was all fogged in so we didn't go. Mm. Wish I, wish no. I Bob over, Coach Ken Schweitzer back here, and Lanfear takes the field. Downey going to stand there at quarterback. 325 left. First and 10 for Lanfear. Downey will take that snap and he'll hand off to his tailback again. And he's on the run down to about the 21 yard line again. Goes Corey Anderson. Close to a first down, but not quite. Clock on the move, 3.06 left. Downey looks to the sideline. 11 in there for Lincoln now. That's Tim Riddle. Lanter just letting the clock run down. Yeah, they got shot, cl shot clocks. They've got... Uh, yeah. 25 second clocks on each end of the field so they know how much time they have before they have to snap it. They run it down to three. Now they pitch it outside and they can't hang on to it. Now they grab it. Got the first down and more. Ten. Backs in. Close to a touchdown. No. They blow it dead right be before the pylon. And again that was uh, Corey Anderson. Yeah, I think he stepped out on the seven. It looks like the official's marking him all out at the seven yard line. But uh, he dropped the ball after he took a, took the pitch, Bob, and uh, Lincoln just isn't able to capitalize and take advantage of those kind of things. They can't close fast enough, and uh, he went up the sideline for some big yards. Corey Anderson's a sophomore. First and goal at the eight, and they blow it dead. Official in the end zone through the flag. And let's see who you, just... you know, Bob, you think after all these years we'd understand what those signals are by the officials, but uh, they would have got a clue what that means. It's some strange signal. Right on to your left shoulder. It means something, but we don't know what. Hit the left or right or bunt. <laughs> so it was against Lincoln, and now Downey waits for the snap. He's got it. Hands off to Corey Anderson, and Corey Anderson... This gets lifted up right at the goal line. It was like a textbook tackle right there. It was a touchdown. Now he was in. Made a nice tackle in the end zone. Yeah. So that's going to make it 59-28 Lanfear with 2.20 left on the game clock. And by the way, they've got a new scoreboard here at Memorial Field. Yeah, I think it was new last year. But, of course, as you said, we didn't play here last year, so we didn't get a chance to see it. But uh, very nice. And bring Mitchell back in to kick the extra point. It'll be the 
Same cast of characters, Stark Weather. Going to snap it to Downey to hold, and then Mitchell will attempt to kick it through the uprights for 60 points if he can make it. There's always a guy that checks in late for Lanfear. This time it's uh, DeCorey Stamps. Dietrich Mitchell. Ball's down. He kicks it up. And it is through the uprights. And if there's an MVP of the game, I'd say it's Mitchell. That'll make the score. Lanfear 60. Lincoln 28. We'll be back. Back here at Memorial Stadium. 2.20 left in the football game. Lanfear leads Lincoln 60 to 28. Yeah, I could do that. Don't forget, tomorrow uh, we'll be out at the Christian Nursing Home with the uh, cheap seats. I think they still call it the cheap seats. And after the game tonight, you can lift, listen to Jeff number two's rock and roll show. Thompson going to kick it away for the Lanfear Lions. Big Craig Thompson, he's gone all the way tonight at left tackle on offense, and he also does the kickoffs. Onside kick, and it rolls out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So does that mean we get it to 35? Uh, 35 or 40. I think it's 35 is where they put it now if it goes out of bounds. Throw a flag and give it to you 35, yeah. We were getting better field position on most returns when he kept it in bounds. We're getting out to almost 40, but we'll take it on the 35. 220 was checking and see who's coming in there for Lincoln. There's a... A 60 and a 50. 60 is John Riddle. 50 is Brady Anderson. 47 is Griffin Pollock. I think there's a 79 out there. Ben Steiner. And here's 78. That's Matt Barbauer. And number eight is Isles, the quarterback. And I and there's number 80. 80 just got in. Kobe Bottrell. They got some new faces out there. Give them a chance to get some varsity uh, experience, Bob. And uh... Man in motion, and he's got it. Number 44, and he's got a pickup. 44 is Zach uh, Pudenite. Nice run, about a four-yard pickup. A strong runner. On to the 39 he goes. With the two-minute marker, 42 checks in for Lanfear. That's Austin Sanderfield. Railers need to hurry. They got about nine seconds to get this play off. Miles comes under center. He's got three seconds. He's got the snap. Hands off. First guy through, and that's a first down for big number 47. Griffin Pollock for the Railers. He's a junior, 5'9", 185. He did a good job, got some good blocking, and a first down at the Lincoln 47-yard line. About an eight-yard pickup. You're right, Bob. Nice uh, play right up the middle. Good carry for a first down. Griffin Pollock. Miles goes to the sideline, gets the play from his coach. Clock still on the move on the running play. A minute 20 left in the game. Still haven't been able to pick up that center for the Railers. They've only got five seconds to get this one off. Four, three, two. They get it off. Pitch it to the outside. Any running room there? Just a little bit. Down to the 49-yard line goes uh, Zach Pudenite. Pudenite's a uh, sophomore. I think snapping the ball is Will Crane. I think he's also a sophomore, if I'm not mistaken. He hustles yep. out of that huddle. Yep, he's a sophomore. We're in the red, 45 seconds left for the game. Miles comes up to the line of scrimmage. Well, he's got a little bit more time this time, 12 seconds. Man in motion. He rolls out, throws. Oh, just out of the outstretched arms of number 80. That's Kobe Bottrell, the left-hander. Isles had him open out there. He just didn't deliver it. Stops the clock at 29 seconds. We got uh, third and about uh, third and long, third and about eight for the Railers here as we uh, wind it down, Bob, and uh, that of course stops the clock, which is probably not what you want to do. But uh, you know, at least he's trying to make something happen, making a throw out there. And you know, your uh, your starter's throwing and, and running, and so you might as well let your backup throw the ball too. 
Give him some snaps. Isles, the southpaw, up the middle. No. Now he'll run another one. So it'll be fourth and nine. He had a receiver out there. It looked like Brandon Tanner, another sophomore, but he just didn't come across the middle. He's going down the uh, hash mark there and uh, just didn't get into the where the ball was. What's the number of that center? Uh, Crane. Crane. The number 60. I tried to call him. Oh, there he is, Will Crane. Yep, 64. I like the way he hustles up to the line of scrimmage. Will Crane, the center for the Railers. Flanked here to the near side is Kobe Bottrell. And that's the intended receiver from Isles. Oh, picked picked off. off, and he's out of bounds. Nice catch there on the interception, and that was by uh, number three for Lanfear, Devontae Hall. He had to go high to catch that one, and he did. Yeah, he had pretty good coverage there. You know, he's on the inside of the receiver. Uh, pretty decent throw out there to the sideline by Isles. He had a long way to throw and got it out there, but uh, he got picked off, and with about 19 seconds left, I would assume and hope Lanfrey will take a knee and run out the clock. It'll be uh, Downey. Danny Downey. And there for, there's another new guy in there for Lincoln. That's uh, Bryant Moore. 22 is Brandon Tanner. And he does take a knee. And that'll run the clock down. That'll be the last play of the game, as Coach said. And the final score is going to be Lanfear Lions 60 and the Lincoln Rail Splitters 28. We'll be back. <laughs> 